We're going to look at the implications of output swing in this lecture. So one thing that we noted with this type of amplifier with an active load is that the gain is equal to GM of the PMOS transistor in this case M1 and M2 so GM1 times RO1 in parallel with RO2 and we noted that if we had cascoded this that we would have increased the gain very significantly what are the implications of cascading uh, of cascoding and voltage headroom well let's look at this simple amplifier so with this amplifier we know that we only need to have one VOV across each of the transistors in order to keep them on and this has an implication in what the maximum output voltage and minimum output voltage are the maximum output voltage is simply VDD minus one VOV and the minimum output voltage is simply VSS which is zero plus one VOV what happens with our amplifier if we try and input a signal that, that causes the output to go into saturation? So let's say we put a fairly big sine wave in. You have to pretend that I can draw a sine wave. Well, what would happen uh, with the gain of this amplifier is that the output would reach these saturation points and then it would clip. So we'd see this distorted, ugly, maybe uglier square wave, a uh, square rich wave coming out. Of course, the limits for this would be VDD minus VOV and VOV. So what's happening with the amplifier also as we go into saturation uh, is that we're driving the amplifier uh, uh, out of uh, the saturation region and into the linear region where the resistance uh, decreases. So remember, we want to use the transistor in the region where the output current doesn't change much with respect to VDS and what this implies is that if we measure the slope of this the slope is equal to 1 over R0 if that slope is flat it implies that R0 is very big that's one thing that we want now we want to use the device of course in its in this region we can estimate what the voltage uh, that that uh, that the device needs to cross it and that's the VOV here okay of course we can find VOV exactly using the following equation okay so what we're really saying is that we'd like to be able to achieve a very large maximum output current swing, uh, out voltage swing, and a very small minimum uh, swing. Now, the the maximum uh, voltage that we can achieve is determined by transistor operating region. Keeping the device saturated for a MOS and forward active for a bipolar. And the minimum voltage is determined primarily by noise. We'll look at noise a little bit later. So we have a dilemma. We want to achieve a high resistance, and we know that if we cascode, we can achieve this high resistance. But it really limits the output swing that we can achieve, uh, which we also want a very large output swing simultaneously. So what we're going to do in the next set of slides is look at how we can improve the cascode.